everyone. My name is Pastor Rick Jones and welcome to our Wednesday night worship where we're so glad that you're here with us tonight. Mother's Day, kids and students. Family Ministry has a surprise gift for mom. Pick up an activity bag Friday, May 8th, 4 to 6 p.m. in the church parking lot. I'm so and I'm Will, and this is my mom, Angel. I'm Ashley, and this is my mom, Amber. And, and this, this is your, your Promise Land news, news, where you can get all the latest news, weather, and sports. Y'all, we got four days to get if our dads and get something for mom. Mom, you got anything in mind? Oh, you know, some flowers or a night off from cooking would be nice. You could go to the red store, blue store, or that green grocery store to buy mom something nice during quarantine. Sorry we can't get you anything fancy this year. 
It's okay, Ashley. Let's just go on a nice walk together. Hopefully the weather's nice. Let's ask Abigail, our weather girl, and her mom, Miss Scott. Hey everyone, I have a special co-host this week. It's my mom, Miss Dawn. The weather is so beautiful. My mom and I are going to take a bike ride right now. Take it away, Savannah and Allie. This week, the spotlight report is on our moms. My mom, Brooke, is here with me right now. Mom, I just want to say thank you so much for all you do for me. Hey guys, this is my mom, Michelle. We just wanted to say happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Make sure today you give your mom a hug and let her know how special she is to you. <laughs> mom, I love you so much. <laughs> hey, Maddie and Sarah, what's the buzz? Good evening, Thomas, and I'm here with my mom, Betsy. And we have some super exciting news for kids and their dads this week. Sarah's right. Kids, make sure to have your dad take you to the church parking lot this Friday, May the 8th, between 4 and 6. And you can pick up a special gift for your moms. Go quick. Supplies limited. Hey, y'all. I'm here with my mom, Jill. We wanted to make sure that you knew about the activity we have for you during worship on Sunday. Kids, with your mom or dad's help, go to the FUMCWP website, and under Children's Ministry, you will see a link to print out the sermon notes. You can color the page and write down all the fun things you've learned about Jesus. My mom, Ashley, is right here. Hey, Mama, I couldn't go and get you something for Mother's Day, but I found something awesome in the house. Ooh, what is it? Well, since there are no sports on, I thought I would give you this for the day. Wow! I love it! This is the best Mother's Day ever, Brian! Remember y'all, it's better when you're here. And as the Bible says in 3 John chapter 1, verse 4, I rejoice to see my children walk in the truth. Good evening, Will and Miss Angel. Good evening, Ashley and Miss Amber. Good evening, Promise Land. Happy Mother's Day! Okay, everybody. All right, so for tonight's family game from the Davis family, we're going to do a taste test. All right, JR, you're going to be the taster. Okay, Jared's going to be the taster. Okay, so we have contestant Emily, contestant Sally Ann, and contestant Ramsey. Okay, all right, JR. So, we have our first food. Gonna take a turn. Do we all guess at the same time? Um. No, Bobby. Oh, is that? Oh, no. Yeah. I think he's right. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna. Okay, everybody, eat it. Sure, you can all guess at the same time. Um, I think Mommy. Another yeah, I think yeah, that's another one. Yeah, I think that's another one. Okay, everybody got it. I think Bobby's hungry. Okay, all right. You eat it now? Okay, Jared, what are they saying it is? Burrito. Burrito. <laughs> are really good guessers. Okay, so what do we have now? show the guys are going to be showing us talking about keep going even when things seem impossible hello world i'm brandon i'm john and this is the so and so show your one-stop shop for fun frivolity and faith-based findings oh i love alliteration me too me too say yes What's with the wings? Oh, yes. You like them? Uh, sure. Yeah, so glad. You know, you know how people say you can't fly with wings made of paper? You can't fly with wings made of paper. Yeah, like that. Well, I have found a way to make it happen. 
Uh, John, there are impressionable kids watching. Maybe you shouldn't say that you can fly No! I can make it happen with this amazing new product! Oh. Hey. Hey. Uh, Brandon, can you help me? Oh. I, yeah, I guess. Uh, right, come uh, on. Uh, what is uh, this thing? Uh, it's Delusion Infusion Gel! That's impossible! Or isn't it? Hi, it's Looney Larry here with another loony offer so good, it's not true! Do you have dreams far out of your reach? Are you worried you don't have the stick to to make them happen? Well, worry no more! Introducing the Delusion Infusion Gel! I've never been able to catch a single sports ball. Baseball, basketball, volleyball, football. But look at me now! <laughs> Delusional dreams can come true with Delusion Infusion Gel! Order now and you'll get one bottle for the price of three. That's right, one for three. I promise you'll be amazed because I'm Looney Larry and would I lie? All sales at Looney Larry's are fine. Product may not actually work. In fact, it won't. May not make delusional aspirations real. In fact, it won't. Both the physician if delusions become real. Not available where products are sold. So I'm guessing this is what, an adhesive? Yep. Huh. You know how I know? How? I can't let go of the bottle. Okay, okay, here, let me help, let me help, let me help. Help, okay. Yeah, yeah, let, okay, here's what we'll do. Okay. I'll put my foot here on your chest. All right. All right, you put your foot on my leg, and then on the count of three, we'll drop it. Ready? One, two, two three. Ah! Oh. <sighs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Thanks for that. Yes, not a problem. <laughs> now, under my dream of flying. Awesome, but you cannot fly with those. Those look like something a child would make. Well, you would be correct, sir, because I made those when I was 10. Ah, yes, I tried flying with them once. Boy, did that turn out badly. <laughs> that seemed like a good place for a flashback. Mm. Mm. Anyway, this time, if I attach them to my back with delusion and fusion gel, I might be able to, you know, get more lift. Help me! Okay, what do I need to do? See that pan of gel on the desk? Yes. How'd that get there? Editing. Now just roll some gel all over my back. Oh boy! Okay, right, perfect. Okay, now I want you to put some on my wings! Okay, All right. all perfect. over? Yes, all over the back. Oh, that's perfect. Have yeah, you done right. this before? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is really okay. Good. Now okay. I need your I help enough. to put these wings on me. All right. All right. So just hand uh, them to me. There right. you go. This is lovely, lovely. Oh, I'm okay. Put this on the ground. Get it yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Brandon, you can back up. I can't, John. What? We're stuck together, man. What? <sighs> we are stuck. Together. No. Ah. no. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, what? <sighs> great, man. No, I'll never fly. Is that all you can think about? How are we gonna do the show this way? I don't know. Let's 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 play a game. No, what are you talking about? Yes! What? Come uh, on, uh, hit the button, hit the I button, can't. hit the button. Uh. Okay. Why are we? I need my, here, just move it to my hand. It's Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, fellas? Kellen, oh! Are you guys stuck together? Yes. Hmm. You know what? Not even gonna ask. What story you got for us, Kellen? Well, I'm so glad you asked. It's one of the coolest moments in history. It's where Jesus and he... What? No. Oh, no. Oh. Glad you came. Glad you're here. 
I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow-by-blow blow of the Bible story. On the Mel Salomon story recap. Thank you, Kellen, for that beautiful introduction. You're the tops. I didn't say a thing. Yes, but it's how you said it. All right, I'm Melv Solomon. With me, as always, is my brother-in-law, Greg Ticklin, the Ivories. Say hello, Greg. Hello, Greg. <laughs> He's funny, right? <laughs> Trying to break into stand-up comedy. Say something funny, Greg. Um, orange. Orange, you hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Greg. Um, Melv, uh, I was kind of in the middle of a story. Hey, hey, don't let me stop you, Kellen. You do you, my friend. Am I right, Greg? Orange, you right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Kellen, uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, give us the biblical 411, and I'll uh, back you up with a little ditty when the muse hits. Right. Okay. So, Jesus had recently risen from the dead. Spoiler alert! And he had appeared to his followers for 40 days after that, teaching and performing miracles. Now, Jesus also met his disciples at the mountain in Galilee. Say no more, Kellen. I got the perfect tune for that. Hit it, Greg. 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 Mm. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not you. Play the tune, Greg. That's it. The mountains are definitely not dead. I can hear them singing. From the wind in the trees to the cricket springing. Look out, there's a bear. Think it might be a grizzly. Next time, I'll vacation on the beach. What happened next? Well, Kellen? the disciples gathered together at the mountain. Jesus gave them this command. Hold up, Kellen. Words of Jesus need a little background music. Hit it, Greg. Greg. No, why did chicken cross the road? So play some background music for Kellen. Hit it. Sing it, Kellen. Not singing. A little spoken word. I can dig that. Jesus told his disciples, Go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I've commanded you. And you can be sure that I'm always with you to the very end. Whoa, whoa, stop the music. Make disciples of all nations? That's a, that's a tall order. I know. And later, Jesus even said his disciples would tell people about him from one end of the earth to the other. That's almost the whole earth. It is. Do I have a tune for that? <laughs> Greg. 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 Put a boogie in it. Greg, song now, all right? boy, Greg. I said I'd walk to the end of the earth for you. If it's something I said, you know it's something I'll do. I put on my shoes and started on the trip. But the earth is actually round, so I'll never make it. What happened next, Kellen? Oh, well, after Jesus told his followers to tell the world about him, he was taken up to heaven. Whoa, whoa. Come again? Yeah, he just went into the sky. And the disciples watched him go into the clouds. There were two men dressed in white who basically said, what are you looking up for? Jesus has been taken to heaven, but he'll come back the same way you saw him go. Jesus dies, everyone's sad. He comes back, everyone's happy. Then 40 days later, he's gone again? What gives, Kellen? I mean, I thought Jesus was going to hang with the disciples until the very end. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, Jesus also told his disciples he was sending a helper. Now we're talking. <laughs> Hit it, Greg. Greg. Greg! Who's going Send Burn Penguin. Oh, black, white, and red all over. Classic punchline, Greg. Play the tune. <laughs> no! Why, Greg? Why that song? Of all the songs in the world, why would you play that song? You're breaking my heart, Greg. In two pieces. No, three.
three pieces, Greg. So tell me more about this helper, Kellen. Um, are you sure? I think you hurt Greg's feelings. Oh, no, he's fine. That, that's called theatrical banter. Right, Greg? No! You see? Yeah. Anyway, so Jesus gave his disciples kind of an impossible mission, didn't he? I mean, how are they going to tell the whole world about Jesus if Jesus wasn't there to help them? Especially without cell phones or internet or anything. They didn't even have mailboxes. So Jesus told them, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Then you will tell people about me. Wowie zowie, the Holy Spirit? Hey, 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 did Jesus send the Holy Spirit like, like he said he would? Did, did the disciples tell the whole world about Jesus? I got to know how it ends, Kellen. I got to know. Well, here we are talking about Jesus 2,000 years later. What do you think? Boy, if that ain't the perfect place for a song, I don't know. Greg. Come on, Greg. Come, you, you know you're my favorite brother-in-law, right? Come on! Help me finish strong! It's for a good cause. Ah, Greg, you're the best! I can't do it, you can't do it But with God you know there's nothing to it He can do things that are I impossible January to December No matter what, my friend, you must remember God can do things that are I impossible yeah. Nicely done. Bye, Melv. Melv is so right, though. There are times in our lives when things seem so impossible, but we can't forget that God does impossible things all the time. And when you trust that He's with you, you'll be surprised just how possible the impossible can be. Back to you guys. That is so cool, Kellen. Yeah, man, thanks. No problem. Hey, um, I'm heading out now, or do you guys want me to stick around? Get it? Stick around, because you guys are you're stuck. Okay, see ya. It really is true. We really are stuck, yeah. No, no, when I remember God is with me, it, it helps me find a strength I don't normally have, so, so I can get through something difficult, right? Yeah, which, which actually makes me think of a question. Well, reveal, reveal the, the question. question. What seems impossible for you, John? Well, nothing comes to mind. No? Nope. Hmm. You? I can think of one thing that seems impossible for me personally, sure. Oh yeah, what's that? This. Uh, ah! Ow! Ow, stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Talk about it together. What seems impossible for you? And until next time, this was ah, the so-and-so show! I'm gonna throw up! Unstuck. Don't give up. Bible verse. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. Life application. Determination. Deciding it's worth to finish what you started. Key question. What seems impossible to you? And now we're going to go to a time in prayer. And what I ask you to do is I want you to take this hand, wiggle it. Take this other hand and wiggle it. Put them together. Close your eyes real tight as we're going to be led in prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, when things seem impossible, we know that we can trust you no matter what, and you will always be with us and love us. Thank you, and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. And now, we're going to do a prayer to end our night. Repeat after me. As you go on your way, may Jesus go with you, before you to show you the way, above you to watch over you, behind you to encourage you, within you to give you peace, and next to you to be your friend. Amen. Have a good night, and God bless. <laughs>